Hi everyone, it's Miss Leah again and we are back with Pop-Up Storytime. Today's book is called Rum Pum Pum, written by David L. Harrison and Jane Yolen, illustrated by Anjan Sarker. Here we go. There once was a tiger, a large handsome tiger, with sharp claws, big sharp teeth, and a long sinuous tail but he had no friends. Tiger wandered around the forest saying, Rrr, which in tiger talk means, will you be my friend? But whether it was his growl or his claws or his big sharp teeth, everyone he met immediately ran away. And then one day, as Tiger strolled a forest path, he found a strange object under a sow tree. He rolled it with his nose. He licked it with his tongue. He chewed an edge with his teeth. He scratched it with his claws. Her, Tiger said, when the strange object did not immediately run away, Tiger thumped it with its long, sinuous tail. Suddenly, the strange object spoke back. Rum pum pum, it said. Tiger picked up his brand new friend, and they went along and went along and went along the road. Soon, they met a very old monkey swinging in a mango tree. Tiger thumped his tail against his new friend. Rum pum pum, said Tiger's friend. Rrr, said Tiger. Monkey chattered, chee chee chee, which in monkey talk means, if you're walking on this fine day, I will come too. Though most of the time I will stay high in the branches until I am sure I'll be safe on the ground. She did not get to be that old without being cautious and becoming very wise. Rum pum pum, said Tiger's friend. Rrr, said Tiger. Chee chee chee, said Monkey. And they all went along and went along and went along the road. Soon they met a gray, grumpy rhinoceros munching grass by the side of the road. Tiger thumped his tail against his new friend. Rum pum pum, said Tiger's friend. Rrr, said Tiger. Chee chee chee, said monkey. Ogh, growled rhinoceros, which in rhino talk means, this is a fine day for walking. I will come too. And so they all went along and went along and went along the road. Soon they met a green parrot with a red rump, sunning its wings on a banyan limb. Tiger thumped his tail against his new friend. Rum pum pum, said Tiger's friend. Err, said Tiger. Chee chee chee, said monkey. Aoog, groused rhinoceros. Scree up. Quack, squawked parrot, which in parrot talk means, I'm very busy, but if you're going down that road, I will come too. Parrots are always busy, and busy bodies as well. So they went, so they all went along, and went along, and went along the road. Soon they met a chameleon watching a cricket. Tiger thumped his tail against his new friend. Rum pum pum, said Tiger's friend. Err, said Tiger. Chee chee chee, said Monkey. Aug, groused rhinoceros. 
Squawk, squawked Parrot. Chameleon flicked her long tongue, which in lizard talk means, if you're going down that road, I will come too. Lizards can always be convinced to try something new. The cricket was relieved. So they all went along and went along and went along the road. Soon they met a wrinkly kneed elephant pulling off leaves from an, um, from an owl tree. Tiger thumped his tail against his new friend. Rum pum pum, said Tiger's friend. Grrr, said Tiger. Chee chee chee, said Monkey. Ow, growls Rhinoceros. Squeal, squawked Parrot. Chameleon flicked her long tongue. Aria, trumpeted elephant, which an elephant talk means, it's a good day for a walk. I need to stretch my baggy knees. If you are going down that road, I will come too. No one argues with elephants, so they all went along and went along and went along the road. But after a while, Rhinoceros growls, Why do you, tiger, always get to hold friend? Elephant added, With my trunk, I could carry friend much more easily than you. With my beak, squawked parrot. My tongue flicked chameleon, or my hand, my hands, or my feet shrieked monkey. I found friend. That's why, Tiger said. But no one was listening. They were growling and shouting. They were squawking and shrieking. They were flicking and making so much noise that... A boy came out of the forest to see what all the fuss was about. Oh my, said the boy, pointing. You have all found drum. I wondered where it went. He picked it up, and then he petted it, and he patted it. He tickled it and tapped it. He pounded it and pummeled it. And as he did so, he and drum told the story of a large, handsome, lonely tiger and how Tiger had at last found some very good friends to go along the road with him. When the story was over, Tiger and Monkey and Rhinoceros, Parrot and Chameleon and Elephant all remembered. They were friends. And then Tiger said, Boy, Drum, tell the story again. So Boy and Drum told the story again until everyone fell asleep in the soft Indian night, dreaming of going along and along and along the winding story road all the way till morning. The end. And this book is called Rum Pum Pum. Written by David L. Harrison and Jane Yolen. Illustrated by Anjan Sarkar. I really hope you enjoyed this book and I will see you next time at Pop-Up Storytime. Bye!